The learning objectives of this video are to get to know what is VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator and how it's accessed by users. We'll also discuss the primary functions of the Orchestrator platform. And we'll learn the differences between using Orchestrator as a cloud hosted service versus deploying it as an on-premise solution. Let's first introduce VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator, which is the central management tool for all the various components that make up the VMware SASE solution. This includes products such as VMware Edge Network Intelligence, which provides application and branch analytics, networking services such as SD-WAN gateways and edges can be centrally managed, monitored, and troubleshot from this single pane of glass. Even remote access services such as VMware Secure Access and eventually the new VMware SD Access client as well as security services such as VMware Cloud Web Security. These are all integrated into VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. The platform is designed as a cloud-based system that supports multi-tenant architecture and includes role-based access controls to create separation between onboarded tenants. It also is available as a virtual machine to be self-hosted on supported hypervisors such as ESXi and KVM or deployed in clouds such as AWS. When users access the URL of their assigned orchestrator platforms, user authenticate either by using local username and password credentials or they sign in using single sign-on through a OpenID Connect-based identity provider. VMware partners with leading IDPs to provide improved security of user authentication for orchestrator tenants. User login contains an identifier that defines the scope of allowed access. This identifier is used to distinguish between the different tenants and their licensed SASE services for this multi-tenant capable platform. The orchestrator supports a three-tier role-based access control hierarchy with an operator level, a managed service or channel partner level, and an end enterprise customer user admin roles. As you would suspect, the level of access to the orchestrator system itself and the onboarded tenants increases as you go up the level tiers. And within this hierarchy, there are sublevel roles that can further limit the read, write, delete, and no access capabilities of specific features. As an example, this can help limit particular customer level user accounts to only have monitoring ability to a specific tenant with no configuration or administration access. The primary function of the orchestrator is to serve as a single pane of glass for all VMware SASE services, which include SD-WAN, Cloud Web Security, Secure Access, and any future services that VMware adds to its product portfolio. Everything from software to licensing is managed through the orchestrator platform. Fundamentally, these are purely management plane functions. This means that while Orchestrator carries metadata about a tenant's network, the actual user data never passes through it. The solution completely isolates the data plane, control plane, and management plane functions among its components. Hundreds of VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrators are deployed worldwide across many different VMware Edge POP regions. The cloud-hosted model also provides built-in resiliency with the availability of standby orchestrator to protect against data loss and increase the availability of the management plane. The primary orchestrator will be subject to disk snapshots every six hours as an additional measure to prevent data loss. The snapshots are replicated to elected disaster recovery regions. Periodically, the most recent snapshot is also transferred into a long-term archive where it can be retained for up to a year. 
As previously mentioned, the VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator can be consumed as a cloud-hosted service or as a self-hosted solution for deployments that require to stay on-prem. There are some key advantages to using cloud-hosted orchestrator like the responsibility of managing the infrastructure to support the primary and secondary orchestrator falls on VMware, including hardware and software maintenance. Managing the resiliency, security, and scale of orchestrator is the complete responsibility of VMware, including timely software upgrades of both orchestrator and SD-WAN components and ensuring that VMware managed orchestrators and gateways are SOC 2 and ISO compliant. Otherwise, with the self-hosted option, all of that and more must be self-managed by the customer. The key takeaways for this video include knowing that VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator is a web portal hosted in the cloud or available as an on-premise management solution. Orchestrator's primary function includes monitoring, configuration, troubleshooting, and administration of all VMware SaaS services. Orchestrator is purely management plane. It only collects and stores network and application metadata, meaning no user data is stored or even passes through the system. And there are significant advantages to using cloud-hosted orchestrator managed by VMware. Thank you for watching this video.